Hey everyone, this is Kirti, the co-founder of Chimera. Today we're going to achieve this Hugo Boss outfit in a severance mood board. So real quick, on the left is your input slash control panel. In the middle is your output panel where you'll see the generated images. And on the right is your history or gallery of images that you've generated. Let's go add the product. It's asking me to add a couple of high resolution images of the product. I'm gonna go quickly here and upload these images. Now, because I'm choosing to generate for the entire garment, I'm gonna say outfit. And I'm gonna select Hugo Boss as the brand. I've already added the brand and the link to the brand's website. Great, I've been able to create the product successfully. I'm going to continue and go generate some ideas. Now this is a mood boarding tool. This is not your final image. It helps you create imagery in line with the brand. So let's click on editorial ideas and I wanna create an Instagram image and generate ideas. Now I've given it a Pinterest board. The Pinterest board is from the Severance Show, which is my mood board. And I'm gonna go back here while it's reading brand values, brand aesthetic um, of the show. And it's gonna throw out ideas at me. You know, oftentimes you log in and you're like, what do I generate, right? What, where do I go? And this is going to help you. It's also going to help you create the prompts. So now um, it's obviously selected different corporate uh, settings, what it understands from that page. But I'm looking for a certain room. So make the ideas in the large main room with green carpet and um, wide, uh, huge room with the model standing in the middle. So I wanted to give me those kind of ideas now. And I've given it a Pinterest board link right now. You could have given it hugoboss.com and it would go and read the brand aesthetic the brand values and throw ideas, campaign ideas in line with that. But my heart has been pretty set on severance right now. Okay, I think I like the first one. So I'm going to select this and say finalize selected scene. And just save, click on my name. Here. And that's generating ideas in line with that. Meanwhile, I can explain what a seed means. So a certain seed number means the composition of that image. If you randomize the seed, you're going to get many, many different compositions. If you keep that seed fixed, then you will get changes in the image with largely the composition remaining the same. And this is the size of the image. Great, we've got this. Now, um, obviously it's not the exact room because we've given it the liberty to be creative, but that's there is another way to do the exact severance room as well. So if, on my first shot, I have broadly um, got what I was looking for. And now I'm going to introduce the garment in the picture. So I'm going to draw the area that I want. And this is because you could be working with multiple items. You could be working with two models in the same image. And I actually tested that yesterday. It was pretty cool. I was able to get a man and a woman wearing two garments that I wanted them to wear. OK, I'm just taking those hands in right now. All right. 
extra. It's been working well. And I'm gonna say apply. I'm gonna do it twice, maybe even thrice, because I love choosing the best output and then moving ahead in that direction. Now, see, I don't like something about this image itself. That's not the one I wanna work with. So I can go into model prompt and background prompt and edit it. So for example, this is a South Asian model. I am going to remove this and say, I like the, you know, the vibe of the show, the styling of the show. I'm going to say French model with then hair and wispy bangs. I think that's okay, and I'm gonna I don't think her chin needs to be raised. Um perfectly sent standard. Um worried look on her face I don't think I want any jewelry mint green carpet and now I've clicked on the infinite button here because I want lots and lots of different kinds of compositions so it's going to fire one with the same seed and all the others with different seeds meanwhile let's go let's go check if we've got our comment aha uh -huh. on the first click let's see which one is the best okay i think this one mm, this one this one is the best okay i'm gonna upscale this now and that's it we're done Okay, now you have four parallel generations allocated to you. So if I'm already generating these four over here, as soon as the first one loads, I will be able to generate uh, this upscaling here. And actually measuring the amount of time it took to get that first shot and that's really important to me because a lot of users of AI are going to do this if it's swift fast and it works great so this image has generated so I'm going to upscale this image and that image the upscaled image will be high resolution enough for me to download using this button and go ahead post it now if i want to compare if i've got the accurate garment or not i can click on this compare button and see have i got the pockets have i got the shirt have i got the buckle have i got the pleats are the pants correct it looks pretty good to me and obviously this is a low resolution image aha i love the hair love it and so as you can see that the seed of this image and this image is the same so the broad lines in the image will remain constant and as i change the seed from um, 060 to 0414 on the left here you can see that the composition of the shot has changed actually i love this shot too so I'm going to do try on on this as well. You know, once you begin generating, you're going to be addicted to doing this. And everyone's been posting and we ourselves have been posting input and output for like two years now. Um, I'm so happy to be able to share this with the world now. 
because we're finally sharing how. Okay, let me do one more. Okay. Now, if I know that I'm working with this image and this image, I should favorite it so that I know that these are the ones that I am working on the layers of. This number that's loading while I uh, click on the image is actually the code that I can share within my team or share with Chimera. While I am upscaling this image, let me also tell you about these features here. This is to upscale. You can expand the image. You can change the face of the model. We are launching an array of faces pretty soon. Um, you can edit the image. Uh, I can introduce a desk or a dog. I can erase objects. Say I want to erase that door. I can, obviously you saw how I introduced the garment in the scene. And you can request our support. Should you not have a very large team that can quickly download it and fix the image, then you can request support from the team to color, the, color correct the images or uh, change certain things about it. And we can help you do that. Great, so while that is upscaling, we can come here and check if we've got the accurate garment or we have. Like always, I like to see a couple of options. I think this one looks good. And now you can see that because it's done, it slapped the garment on the scene, there is a little bit of an aura. And if I upscale the image with slightly higher denoising, I might be able to take that away. So I'm gonna do 0.26. Um, when you upscale images, you introduce noise into the scene. And if you introduce too much noise, you're gonna lose Garmin details. But if you introduce too little noise, then you're gonna not get enough skin detail. So getting this right is also super important. I'm gonna do 0.26. We usually do 0.2 for everything. I'm doing 0.26 to get rid of the halo and to also get some skin detail and hair detail here. And this shot was pretty easy. Aha. Uh -huh. And so now I have almost a perfect shot. Let's see her face. It's lovely. There's a lot of skin detail. Yes, you might have to fix that buckle slightly to add just a little bit of fabric there, which you can do either within the app with the draw, draw tool, or you can take it out and do it anywhere else. I'm excited about this. So the first time you generate the image, you only get the garment in that direction. And then when you do try on, you get the accurate garment. But that's it, we're done. I can go now while this one is loading and I, I can click on the download button. And I have my image ready to post. <laughs>